Hello. In this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of an Ego uh, 21 inch cordless battery powered mower. This is a self propelled model. They have uh, 20 inch and 21 inch models and you can get self propelled in the 21 inch and then you can buy them with or without batteries. Uh, this one has the 7.5 amp hour battery. It says it has a 60 minute run time, torque of gas, 5 year warranty. And a big feature to me is that you can store this upright uh, because there's no fluids in it to drain out. When I was thinking about which mower to buy, I wanted self-propelled. I'm replacing a Honda 21 inch gas mower with this. So I wanted self-propelled. I wanted 21 inch deck. Um, I had to choose if I wanted batteries or not. Now I do have the Ego snow blower and I do have an unboxing video of this also in a couple of videos. I'll link those in the description. And this does have two batteries in it. They're the 5.0 amp hour batteries, whereas the mower comes with the 7.5 amp hour battery. And the 7.5 amp hour battery is around $400 on its own, so I decided to um, get the model that included the battery as opposed to using the snowblower batteries. I can still use the snowblower batteries as extra batteries, but um, I got the battery that came with it because it's cheaper to buy the battery with the mower than it is to buy it separately. So uh, I'll get this mounted on a tripod here and I'll start unboxing this. Here's the charger. This looks identical to the charger on the uh, snowblower, so I'll have two chargers now. I can charge two batteries at once. There's the battery. So this looks similar to the snowblower battery except for it's wider than the snowblower battery. This looks like an attachment for the bag. This is a side discharge chute. Instruction manual. And here's the bag. One thing I like about this is that they pack everything in cardboard uh, and a little bit of plastic, but not a lot of styrofoam. So that's pretty neat. I'll have to read through the manual, but I'll just take a quick look at this. Uh, it says push to unlock. So this has a couple different settings here for the height. And then the handles here unlock. And we can extend this. Now it's all set up. So I'll uh, read through the manual real quick and uh, we'll fire it up. Okay, so I've browsed through the manual a little bit and uh, I'll go over a couple features of this. But uh, I just want to start off uh, showing what it looks like up against the wall when you fold it. So it uh, takes up quite a bit less room than my Honda. The Honda that I had, the, you could kind of fold the handle, but it was not easy. So I never did fold it, so it took up a lot of room. Um, so this is what it looks like up against the wall. I'll move it out a little bit. You can kind of push it around a little bit while it's folded. So like a lot of mowers, this has uh, mulching capability and it has uh, bagging and side discharge. So. What you do is you open up the back. This is just a lot like my uh, previous mower. You pull this out and for side discharge it comes with this adapter. Now I remember reading that before it didn't come with the adapter and actually there's a piece of paper in there that tells you you can get one from them. So if, if you didn't get one of these in the box you can call them and they'll send you one. But this one came with one in the box. So this slides in down here in the bottom and then the the top holds it on, like that. So that's the side discharge. And it comes out behind the rear wheel. So that's a little different from a lot of mowers I've used where it would have the side discharge up 
uh, in the front. So it comes off easy. <laughs> then this is the bag, and the bag's very similar to other mowers I've used. The bag hangs on there. It looks like it seals pretty good. And then this closes down on it. And you've got the bag. Kind of nice. I'll put this back in mulch mode. I do like that this uh, is adjustable for height because I'm six foot tall. A lot of mowers have to lean over. This handle is very high. I'll see if I can show that. So this is me standing next to it. I don't know if this is going to show up on the video. And then uh, the adjustment for the wheels is here. So this it's kind of hard to do one handed. I don't know. So you pull this out and you can adjust it and adjust all four wheels at the same time. It has a uh, headlight on it here. I guess I'll put a battery in. This is my snowblower battery. I'm charging the uh, one that came with it. So the battery goes in here. To release it, you push the button, pops out. And then uh, headlights. So if you're mowing at night for some reason, you can use that. I will say I like this uh, button here better than on the snowblower. The snowblower one kind of kicks at you when you push it, so uh, this one seems to work a little bit nicer. Got a little handle here for lifting it. Um, a neat feature here is that uh, if you need to transport it, like say you're finished mowing the lawn, you need to get back to your shed or garage, you can just pull the handle without uh, starting up the blade, like on a gas mower. And then it has uh, variable speed here. So, I don't know if I can do this, but I'll lift it up, we'll pull that in, get the wheels going, and you can the variable speed. And then uh, to start the mower, this is actually very similar to the snowblower. You press the button, pull the baler, let go of the button, And now the mower's running. So that's the uh, basics of the Ego uh, self-propelled mower. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And I'll put a link in the description to my other videos. And uh, when we start getting some grass here, because it's uh, April right now where I live in Iowa, if we start getting some grass, maybe I'll shoot some video of actually using this thing. And um, I'll put a link in the description if I ever get that up. So thanks for watching. Bye.